Hello everyone, welcome to Math My Course. Today's video is all about the non-verbal reasoning. So there are different kinds of non-verbal reasoning questions. But today we are going to look about the box code questions in particular. The box code questions are also known as the code breaker questions. So we are going to look into two questions. We call it as the box code breaker one and the box code breaker two. So let's move on to the question. So here is the first box code question. Before solving this, we need to understand the layout of this question. So this has a vertical line here in the middle and you have four boxes, one, two, three, four, four boxes to the left of the vertical line. And in each box you have the shapes or symbols as well as some codes or alphabets attached to it. And then to the right of the vertical line, you have one box here only the shape is there, but the letters are missing and you need to find out the correct option and you have five options A, B, C, D, E. So you need to find out the correct option that fits in this box. So with this concept in mind, let's try to solve. So you can also pause the video and solve this by all by yourself. And let's see how we can solve this in this video later on. All right, so as I explained earlier, with this concept in mind, let's find a relation between these four boxes. So let's find something that is common in all the boxes. So I can see C is there in both the first and the third box. So what's common in the first and third box? I can see the arrow is common, the up arrow is common. So which means the up arrow denotes C. So which means this is a double headed arrow and that's E and down arrow it's D. So in the question we have a double headed arrow. So the option should be E. So it can be E. E. Right? So but I'm sure it cannot be D or C. So you can rule out these options. So these options are not there. So it should be either option A or option E. So now back into the question. Now we need to find the bottom code. So it can be either EZ or EX. So we need to find what is that. So if you find the bottom code, let's see which is repeated. You can see why is there in the second as well as the fourth box. So what is common? You have the white circles in the second and the fourth box. So which means the dark circles denotes Z and the gray circles denote X. So what do we have in the question box? We have the gray circle, which means it should be X. So EX is the right answer. So we can rule out A option as well. So the correct option is E. So the code is E and X. So now let's move on to now let's move let's move on to the question two, the box code question two. Before that, you can work out all by yourself by pausing the video. And let's check out the answer later in this video. All right. As I said earlier, we're just going to find out the relation between these four boxes. So I see N is repeated as well as M is also repeated. N is found in the second and the third box. So what is the same here? What is common here? You can see the triangle is common. So both the solid triangle as well as the dotted line triangle is denoted as N. And here, the solid square as well as the dotted square is denoted as M. So what do we have in the question box? It's a solid square. So the answer should be M, right? So it should be M. The answer should be M. So it can't be N. It can be N. You can't rule out, you can rule out the options B and E. 
so it can be either a c or t so with this we now we are now going to look out for the bottom code so let's see if we have any code in common we don't see anything in common because it's a c b and d which means there should be a different shape in each so yeah but looking at obviously we can see d denotes this pentagon b is for the circle c for the square and a for the hexagon so we have a square in the question box so which means c denotes the square right so the answer is c so it can't be b it can't be d so we rule out the option a and c so our answer is option d so we have m and c here so that's it hope you enjoy the video and you learned so thank you for watching and stay tuned for more math videos thank you